Today the Camaro gets some much overdue love and I'm going to be using a Sharpie to paint the tire letters on my MRR design wheels. So let's jump into the video. So I'm using a Sharpie Pro. It's claimed to be waterproof as well as it's a permanent marker. This is my first time doing it, so I wanted to bring you guys along with me to see how to do it, how not to do it, and see the results. My desired results is for it to look factory and have bright, clean, white lettering and whatever other designs that I fill in. And hopefully this Sharpie pen can do the trick. So let's get started. So here are the supplies and tools you're gonna to need for this task. I have my tire marker, microfiber cloth to wipe off the surface, the prep spray to get any type of debris or contamination or grease, especially tire shine. You can use acetone as well, but anything that's kind of got an alcohol base that will dry fast, you wanna use that. You have your gloves and I have a heat gun. Heat gun is to dry in between each coat. That should be all you need to get this project done. All right, so using the prep spray, we're just gonna wipe down the spots that we're actually gonna paint. We're gonna make sure we get all of that dirt and especially tire shine off, because I know I use a lot of tire shine. You see how fast it's drying, so that's why you wanna use something that has an alcohol base to it. So the marker, uh, the Sharpie says that it dries within minutes. It marks on wet and oily surfaces and fade resistant. Um, you don't have to shake it like some of the other markers. Guess we're just gonna go right into it. First thing I'm gonna do is start with the letters. So my approach is gonna be doing like a rough first pass initial fill in. Then I'm gonna let it dry and then come back and hit another coat. Depending on how this dry will determine if I use the heat gun or not. All right, so one thing that I'm finding kind of hard to do with this pin is stay inside because the tip is so fat now. You really can't maintain a sharp tip. Okay, so I just realized that it says extra bold tip. So that would explain why the tip is so big. So that is probably gonna be a problem because these things are so small and it's inset. If you had something that was maybe on the outside, it wouldn't be that bad. We're gonna see how we can get around it. So what I'm doing is I'm just filling it all in and then wiping away the extra. And I forgot to put on my gloves. So that is one way to do it. I must say it's not the most efficient or easiest way but it is a way to do it. So this is past one, so it's probably gonna look a little rough. Here's the first pass and it looks pretty rough. This Sharpie is probably not the best move unless they have a smaller tip. This is extra bold tip and I didn't pay attention to that. This is the results. But this is the first pass and there may be a chance for me to save this, but as of now, it's not looking that hot. But we're gonna let this dry, try to clean up the little spots here before it dries too much and then put another coat. The first coat has dry, I let it dry by itself and this is the results of it sitting and drying. All right, so as you can see, it's coming out pretty decent. Um, I expected the first coat to be kind of rough, but this is a little bit more <laughs> rough than I anticipated. And it's partially due to the tip. I don't have a fine tip. And to get in the corners, you really need to have that fine tip. What I'm going to do is do another coat. Um, I think I'm going to get it in the corners as best as I can. Maybe go outside the lines. And then after the last coat, I'll probably come back with some type of nail polish remover or something that has some type of agent that can remove the paint. In this case, the Sharpie. And then hopefully that will give me that sharp outline and we can move on to the next part. So let's get started on coat number two.
All right, so we tried the Sharpie and we discovered that it was not the best for this particular type of tire. Maybe if it was raised, it could be a little bit more easier because I wouldn't have to try getting the corners. But mine's is not. It's set in and it's got those lines and it is very hard to get into the corner. So I have a backup. I got the, it's called Type S Tire Marker. Um, you can get it at AutoZone. Maybe you can get it on Amazon as well. I have a link down in the description for both products and the other products that I use just so you don't have to try to search and find it. Um, but this should do the trick. See, the tip is very small in comparison to this one, but it also gets smaller. So you pull it out and then you can have an even smaller tip. So this one should work 10 times better. So let's give this a try and then we will see the difference. I'll compare the Sharpie versus the tire marker. All right, so let's see what we get. All right, so one thing that does differ with the tire marker versus the Sharpie is that you have to shake this for a minute. Once you're done shaking, then you have to prime it. And priming it is basically, you wanna push down on it, you're letting the paint flow down and you're filling up the tip. When it's ready, you're gonna start seeing paint come out. All right, so we're using the pen. Let's see how much better this is versus the Sharpie. So I'm pushing down every now and then to get some paint out. Pretty much just want to move the paint around. So this first coat is gonna be like it was before, where it's um, a light coat, if you will, not looking for max coverage right off the bat. So I will say it is definitely easier to get in the corners with this. All right, there's the first one. That was way easier. So we're gonna continue this all the way to the G2. And then we're gonna let it dry, and then we'll come back. Alright, so I'm going to flip the tip for the smaller one. Alright, so the first coat is on. A lot easier and much better than the Sharpie. And that could be just because of the style of my tire. So don't disregard the Sharpie completely. If it was like this here, like the G2 is, raised then it would be a lot easier and it would work just fine so it kind of depends on your tire so now we have our paint on our first coat we are going to use our heat gun now if you don't have a heat gun that's fine You'll have to let it dry naturally, but I'm gonna use the heat gun. It's a little cold outside, and that should speed up the process. You wanna dry it first because if you don't let it dry all the way, then it's just gonna be smearing the old paint um, when you start to apply the new layer of paint. So we wanna make sure that it's dry. <laughs> Now that it's dry, we're gonna go ahead and put the second coat on there. If you like seeing videos like this, DIY maintenance and mods and other car related activities, click that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. That way, when I post future videos, you won't miss anything.
All right, so as you see, I am kind of got out the lines, uh, especially with the first one when I was using the Sharpie, so it doesn't look as sharp. So I have an idea. So as you can see here, we got out of line on quite a few of these, especially when I was using the Sharpie, since it had such a bold and wide tip. But what you can do if you do this, you can get acetone or regular nail polish remover. If you have this in the house, then you should be good because it has acetone in it and that will remove the extra paint. So I just put a little bit in a cap and I'm gonna use some Q-tips and just rub off the extra. Now you wanna make sure you don't put too much to where it, it runs over into the actual uh, lettering that you did. All right, so the acetone did work, but there's a little bit of crevices that are a little hard to get to. So I got actually a bristle brush. This is actually from a uh, cleaning kit for a firearm, but nevertheless, if you have a small bristle brush, then it will scrape the paint off really, really fast and really well. Have to be pretty, pretty careful, but doesn't take much effort to get it off. And some of this you might just have to live with if it's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. There you have it guys, the letters came out pretty good. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and check out the other videos that's popping up. And until next time, I'm out. <laughs>